identity. I'm here with Melissa Sandvig. 15,000 or zero, Melissa, all resting on whether five is an ice skating teacher. Number five. Uh. Is that your identity? $15,000. You did it. Oh my gosh. But you're still playing all or nothing. Oh my gosh. All or nothing. And now the numbers get high. Woo! The stakes you're going for are now $25,000. <gasps> to give you some help, I want to bring in some uh, some of your friends. Who'd you bring with you, yeah! Melissa? Let me do some. <laughs> okay. okay, in the center is my beautiful husband of almost two years, oh Eric. Goodness. On the left is my godmother, Pam. And that's Ashley. She's been a friend of mine since we were little. We grew up dancing together. How, how do you like the way she's playing? Is she missing anything obvious? Number six. Yay! I mean, what is it? That is Joe yes. Malou. Oh, no. And he is the owner of the Kings NBA team owner. He won't let me come home if I don't do that. OK. Number six is the NBA team owner of the Kings. I'm going to lock that in. Number six, NBA team owner. Is that your identity, sir? Oh, yeah. My name's Joe Maloof. I own the Sacramento Kings. <laughs> feel good about that? I feel good about that? Eric! Solid, Eric! I'm sorry, Melissa. How much do you have now? $25,000. Congratulations. Seven strangers, seven identities left. You sure of any other ones? My ambidextrous guy could be a mime using both hands all the time. Someone Possibly. went woo on that one. You got a woo on that one. I don't know very many mimes either. I, I, I know. I'm Ashley thinking either one is either the mime. Yeah. No! Are you I, kidding me? My friend four. Four, four, four. Or one. Four could also be the pianist. I don't know. No! Yeah. That's true, too. That's true, too. I don't know. You're That's why. You're confusing, girl. I know, Pam. I, I, I might want to ask the experts about who the mime might be. Since the mime you're leaning. might be. I don't know. All right. Each of our experts will give their expert opinion Wonderful. about who they think the mime is. OK. We'll start with Mark Edgar Stevens, our body language specialist. As I've been watching number four, he barely moves. He, he's held this position the entire time, has not changed his face, doesn't blink, and stares straight forward the whole time. I've got to say, in my personal opinion, that number four is the mind. Yeah. OK, that's what Mark says. Stacy Kaiser is our psychotherapist. Okay. Stacy, what you got? The mime needs to be able to hold hold their facial structure. And I have noticed number four has really not made had any affect whatsoever. He's had that same face virtually the entire time. So <laughs> I'm going to say that number four is the mime. Now we got Bill Stanton. Number four. I'm leaning towards you, brother. You ain't cracking a smile. You ain't doing anything. So we're going with you. Patrick, three of us. Yo, Melissa, you heard it. Every one of our experts, they all came down to four. Please, please, number four, be my mime. I'm going to lock you in as my mime. Mark my wow. <laughs> You've walked in. If I'm not mistaken, number four as the mind. Yes. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know how you're feeling. It's ripping me I'm apart. Dying. This I'm nervous dying. feeling is destroying me. But you know, he could save me. Come on, number four. Number four. Whether you're a mime or not, that little tingly feeling, I'm kind of liking it. So we'll find out after this.
Welcome back to Identity. I'm standing next to Melissa Sandvig, a dancer. You had $25,000. And then she risked it all. I did. I thinking did. Thinking that number four was a mine. So now it's either 50 grand or it's nothing. All riding on a mine. Number four. Four. <laughs> $50,000, Melissa says you're mine. Oh my gosh. Is that your identity? Oh please, oh please. Ooh. I'll come see your show if I win. <laughs> you have a show? I don't know. Oh, he's. You are halfway to half a million dollars. Uh -huh. The next step is $75,000. That's all great news. <laughs> Except if you miss, <laughs> but I'm going to it's nothing. nothing. So your choice oh. is you walk out that door with a big smile and $50,000, or you play identity for $75,000 and maybe for a half a million. What you going to do, Melissa? Think it out. Look at the board. Look what's up there. 50 grand's pretty good, right? So more money than I have. More money than I have on me. No doubt about it. What would you do with the 50 grand if you had 50 grand? 50 grand? Yeah. I, I could buy some uh, new Pilates equipment new to Pilates teach on. New Pilates equipment, sure. Uh, my students would love that. Um, I might buy my husband something for our anniversary. Oh. And your you friend. Have a new home and my there. friend and my godmother, of course. What do you guys think? Should you take the money and go home? I know, I know. Melissa, do you want to go home or do you want to play identity? I don't feel anything. I'm not feeling anything about these guys. It's horrible. My mom told me not to be greedy. Did she tell you that? She did tell me that. She did. And and honestly, if you don't know. I don't. That's, I don't. That's I plenty. don't that's know. Fine. You're not feeling it, Melissa. You should just. I, I think I have to go home. I don't know anybody else. All right. That's a lot to gamble. I don't want to go home with nothing. Ken, it's been a pleasure. But I think I'm going. To $50,000. Now, which identity would you have solved next with the pressure off? Let's try 11 as the hostage negotiator. 11, hostage negotiator. Is that your identity? No, that's not my identity. Oh, yeah. That would have been out. You would have been out. You would have been out. Number 11? I invented TiVo. Yeah. Okay, number one, what's your identity? I'm a porcupine trainer. Oh, that's a good one. Number two? I'm a ghost hunter. Oh, you would have wow. never gotten hair. No. Number eight. I'm a jazz pianist. Oh. Number ten, what's your identity? I am the hostage negotiator. Number twelve. I'm a good customer. Well, let's give Melissa a hand, huh? $50,000. We're out of time for tonight, but tune in next week when someone else will try to tackle a whole new group of strangers in hopes of winning our top prize of half a million dollars. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ben Gillette saying good night and uh, don't be a stranger.